Привет, друзья! Меня зовут Мал. Добро пожаловать на мой канал. And that's about the extent of the Russian I'm going to attempt. So, native speakers, I apologize, but I had to try. So, as you can see, I have here an unboxing of the Soviet Polikarpov II. And this is the night bomber that was used by the Soviet all-female uh, bomber corps, also called the Night Witches. Um, there are many, many stories, and I'm not even going to attempt to relay all of them here, um, about the heroism and just pure guts of these lady um, aeronauts. But essentially, they were, they flew these wooden and canvas um, <laughs> contraptions in in the in the second world war and they would do night bombing runs and they were very effective uh there are a great deal many stories and i will actually put a couple of links down below um to these to these uh to stories excuse me about these these fairly heroic aviators um and and i uh i played bolt action which is a world war ii you know war game and my my army of choice for just because it's you know there's a lot of heroic stories and and they're they're i like a lot of the equipment they use is this the uh soviet army the red army and it came to pass that we needed a uh um uh, uh what you call it an objective there we go an objective and i mean what better than one of the night witches bombers so I'm going to get to get the opportunity to build one of these. So I will go ahead and I will crack into this box because that's why you're looking. You're not really here to have me regale you about my war gaming or any of the other stuff. You're here to actually see what's in this here box. So I will go ahead and slide into this box. Um, as you can see, I haven't opened it yet, so I have absolutely no idea what's in here. I've heard some good things. This is by ICM. It is in 1 in 48th scale. So it's a little bit smaller than the scale I usually work in, but it's actually, you know, fairly close to the 156 scale for bolt action. So it will do for scenery. So let's take a look. Now, this is interesting. So the box is um, ICM. So it's pretty similar to a lot of the other Russian boxes we get, which is kind of cool. So I like this, right? So Zvezda does this and, you know, apparently ICM is doing it too. Um, what we have in here is... A bag of parts and an instruction sheet and oh okay so if we have any issues we they I see him wants us to reach out to them so that's really cool so let's go ahead and start off with the instruction sheet now there is as I understand um, an Edward and a couple other um, upgrade sets for this that I may look into we'll see what we have here I hear that the the engine and so forth is actually fairly uh, nice thing to pick up, but we'll take a look and see what we have, and we'll go from there. Oh, and we have transfers. So let's look at the transfers first. So we'll take a look at the transfers. Um, they look to be fairly in register, fairly thin. Um, yeah. So it looks like here we have the the dials, and I know that one of the I know the Edward set has a metal. Um, instrument panel or a metal, metal dash for the instrument panel. So we'll see what the instrument panel here looks like and we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the take a look at the instructions and as you can see the instructions are in um, what look like to be Russian and English. So I am not even going to try. You've got the extent of my Russian there at the opening and some information about the aircraft which is normal. And then we have what looks to be the sprue map. And I love these, so I'm, I'm a big fan of the sprue map because then you can find things for, at least for me, you can find them a little bit easier. Let's take a look and see how it goes together. Um, so it looks like you have some choices. There's your your instrument panel. Yeah, okay. So it looks fairly straightforward right so it looks like a pretty straightforward build and you have your in so you know your first step you have your two fuselage pieces you have your instrument panels you have interior detail right it looks like there's interior detail here 
So you'll want to paint up the interior before you go to it. Now this is a canvas and wood fighter, um, or bomber, excuse me. Uh, you have these two go together, and then your windscreens, and then other detailed bits and bobs go on the outside. And now here, right, you apparently have to drill out these holes, and I believe those are for the bomb racks. Here are the seats. Okay, so here's interesting. So you build the fuselage, right? So this builds the top part of the fuselage. And then on the on the wing, you build your interior, and that interior just pops up in. Okay, that's cool. So read your instructions, folks. Um, you have your controls. We'll take a look, see how they look in, in the um when we look at the thing. Here's so here's the um the engine. And it's looking like the engine's one part. Okay. Um, then you have your, uh, rods. There we go. And then your, um, propeller. There we go. And here's intakes. Now these are, these are these. So this is interesting. So the exhausts for the aircraft, there's two big exhaust pipes that come up near the top of the fuselage by the pilot, which are interesting. So here's, um, your, uh, horns for your control rods or control um, wires. Uh, you know, other detail there, There's some supports and struts, and your wheels, your bombs. Um, this is, again, I know uh, there is a an upgrade part for these because this is supposed to be thin metal for the bombs, so it depends on how detailed you want to be on those bombs. There's your bomb racks. Then the bomb racks go underneath the bottom of the lower wing, put in your landing gear. Then you have your support struts for the upper wing. You glue it on. And then there, those are the, uh, that's the uh, exhaust pipe that I was talking about. And there's your gun. And again, I understand that uh, the main gun is, or the rear gun is the, uh, another one of the upgrade parts you can get. So again, we'll see what they are. And now here are your wiring diagram and I so this is where you know if you're going to run all your wires that's where they go uh, I need to look up what that symbol means but it seems pretty straightforward and fairly easy to follow now this is so this is two-dimensional right so where those wires are that's a little bit two-dimensional so it's a we're going to be a little bit challenging to figure out you're going to need to see where they go and I will you'll probably end up having to look up more details because like you see here right these these go out to those control rod or uh, control control horns um but you'll need to figure out where those wires here go back to this here real quick. so it'll probably be useful to look up you know exactly where these these things connect as you put these together again i know one of the upgrade parts is the the metal connectors for those but we'll see how the plastic goes. And then here are the markings. Um, for the 46, spring 45, and then summer 44. So these are the markings for spring 45 and summer 44. And, you know, for me, I'm going to look up, I will look up the markings for the Night Witches and, and their Air Corps, and then we'll go from there. That's pretty much what I'm going to because that's what I want to do. You know, that's the reason I got this. So let's go ahead and pull these out and pull out the parts and let's take a look and see what we got. So I'll slide this out. That's there. And I have that. And I have, so these are my bombs. They actually don't look bad. And my gun doesn't really look that bad. So, and my dog is having a conversation with our neighbor so I apologize for that in the background I'm not going to stop I'll let her have her conversations we have a neighbor dog that you know my dog likes to play with and they run back and forth so they're having conversations so there's our fuselage um, you can kind of see a little bit so I can feel it more than I can see it but there's a little bit there you can see a little bit there is some texture and there's some uh, let's see if I can get this focus. Come on, focus. Oh yeah, that's better. So you can kind of see there's a little bit of um, 
not texture, but it's it's angles, right? So the angles of the the fabric against the interior structure is there. The detail of the wheels. The wheels do have what look like to be some mold lines, so that'll have to be cleaned up. These wire, those rods right there, those parts very well are actually really thin. Um, there's your interior detail. You do have some sink marks there, there. Um, I'm guessing those are going to be kind of hard to see, but they are there. But we don't. I don't see anything on the outside that sort of gives that away. And then our other one, right? So we have one each. And there's our engine parts. So, all right. So what I was hearing, okay? So the word around the campfire anyway was, come on, there we go. So word around the campfire was the engine wasn't that great, that the fins were too big, et cetera. And, you know, I, I suppose, I suppose, but I, I don't know. I don't think they look too terrible. Um, I believe that's a bunch of flash on those rods, but that's clean. That's something I can clean up. Um, I'm not really convinced that that's that engine is really something I would need to do an upgrade part for. Um, at least not not from my perspective. Uh, I suppose that there are people who are working like plasma level detail. That, yeah, maybe they should actually build an actual engine from that. But I don't know that I'm going to be able to go to that level. However, you know. No, no offense, of course, to him because, oh my gosh, he does some fantastic work. I just don't know that I'm able to complete it. Now, so now there's those are the the square fins for the bombs, right? And that's that's what I did mention. Now those are thick, and I mean I can I could I could buy an upgrade or I could just use cardstock, and I think I'm just going to use cardstock, um, so I can make those look better. So we'll we'll put the bombs together, see how they work, and there's our canopy now our canopies are really thin so and these are actually packaged very well so i like that and let's take a look at the wings so a lot of that fabric detail right so let's get this to focus in again all right so those are so these are some really fine parts and in the last time i got a soviet um biplane it was really, really bad. <laughs> um, I mean, it was a 172nd scale, and the the supports were even bigger than, thicker than that. So, um, and it wasn't ICM. I'm trying to remember what it was, but it was not ICM. These, that is really detailed. Well, let's see, really fine. I guess that's a better term for it. It's fine. Um, those are my seats. I believe these are control rods for inside the cockpit. Um, yeah, uh, there, so there, there, right there are our um, it's what I'm looking for. Uh, instrument panels, there we go. Goodness. And there is some detail to them. You can kind of see it. It's very, very faint. But it does exist, um, and you know the the transfers will pick that up for you. But I mean, even there, right? So that's one of the controls for inside the cockpit, and I believe that's what that is. But that detail is pretty nice. So little, 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 little tiny bits of flash, like here and here, on some of these very fine parts. But there's some really fine parts. So, um, yeah. This is really rather impressive. So again, this is the ICM Polygonoprof 2 in 1 in 48 scale. And I will, there will be a build series for it. This is just the unboxing. And as always, I do an unboxing just to, um, you know, so guys can actually look at that and don't have to then filter through the rest of my series as I fumble my way through a build. So I am really impressed with this kit. Um, it looks fantastic. It will be... I think there will be challenges. Some, some nice challenges to putting this together. But I'm looking forward to it. So here's like the wiring, right? So here's some of those wires. And your, your um, 
control wires and, and support wires. So that's that will be entertaining. I, there is no wiring. So obviously I did not see any in this package. So there isn't any included. So you, as a modeler, are going to have to figure that out. Um, you know, your, your kit box, I didn't do the whole you know, walk around the kit box. There really wasn't much. Uh, it's pretty much the same picture all the way around. And there's a little bit of details about you know some of the um, so information about the polycarpov about the polycarpov. So, and apparently there's information about the naming of it too. So that's interesting. Named U to VS until um, polycarpov died. It was and it was renamed to the PO2. So interesting. So there we go. That is the ICM one in forty eight scale PO2 or U2. I uh, hope, uh, you know, if you're looking at this, now you've seen what's inside the box. And uh, again, you native Russian speakers, I, I hope I didn't butcher your language too terribly. But uh, um, yeah, until next time, I hope you all have happy modeling. <laughs>